At the track, they're warming up, getting set for this weekend's national championship, a track and field competition that will help determine just who will represent Canada at the Olympic and Paralympic Games. Representing Canada, Derek Drouin. At the last Olympics, Derek Drouin won Canada's only medal in athletics, a bronze in men's high jump. This time around, he says the entire team is in a much better position. In the past, we've kind of had this this reputation of um, we're happy to be here, um, and I definitely don't think that that's the mentality anymore. I think that everybody's there is gunning for, gunning for a spot in the final, gunning for a place on that podium, and um, really trying to win. And officials have big expectations. I think you're going to see more medal than we have done since 1996 at the games. That was the year we won too. Donovan Bailey won gold in the 100 meters, and the men's team won the 4 by 100 meter relay. Today, there's a new batch of sprinters, including Andre de Grasse. And what a brilliant bronze for de Grasse. He won a bronze medal at the World Championships last August. Canada had its best ever performance at the event, taking home eight medals. Sean Barber won gold in the pole vault then, and now has his sights set on Rio. Growing up, it's every child's dream, right, to be a part of this Olympic program. And, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to putting my best foot forward and representing Canada well. Melissa Bishop competed for Canada at the last Olympics, and since then, she's continued to progress. Well, is she going to do it? Bishop is coming through. Is she? Last year, she won silver at the world in the 800 meters. It's even a bigger dream to be a two-time Olympian, and, and hopefully have a really good result there it would be really nice. But first, they'll be aiming for good results this weekend. The national championships wrap up on Sunday, and then on Monday, officials will announce which track and field athletes will be heading to Rio. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Edmonton.